what I'm going to be doing here is testing for a spark on my uh, Mercury Optimax. Make sure your plugs are working okay. Um, if you have a loss of power or something like that or a drop in RPMs, uh, this is a, a quick uh, check you can do. So we're going to pull off uh, this lead right here. So there's a spark plug there. You can see it right where my tip of my finger is. And uh, here's the lead that goes over it. What you want to do is uh, get yourself one of these testers, spark plug testers. And basically you are going to put this end over the plug. Just like that. That end will go over the plug. And the lead you took off the plug will connect to the on the other end of the tester just like that so it creates a, a loop and now we're gonna fire the engine over and once you fire the engine over you'll come back and uh, see if there's a uh, Basically, you work your way through the rest of the plugs, going one by one. And uh, if you see that light flashing, you're good. If it's not flashing, uh, then you got a possible engine coil issue. Um, could be a bad spark plug. All right, hope that tip helps you guys out. Uh, earlier, I was uh, doing some spark plug testing, and. Uh, I showed you how to do that and uh, what I did find was my um, one of the uh, plugs wasn't firing there's this one right here and a couple of problems that could cause that could be the engine coil so what we're gonna do here is uh, basically I figured out that it was the coil and if you get a loss in RPM which I did and my whole shot dropped a bit I had to figure out where that loss of power was coming from and uh, after troubleshooting and learning that it was uh, the coil I'm gonna have to swap the part out so this is the coil if you didn't know and uh, this is uh, a 200 horse Merc Optimax and uh, so you're gonna have six coils so there's one two three four five and six down here so this is the bad one um, and this is the uh, part number that replaces it and there's been a few revisions here's the part right here I don't know if you can read the part number on it but that's the coil right there that's what we're gonna swap out so basically you gotta pop this uh, lead off right here that comes off and you, you got a wire harness right here that has to be unclipped. That just unplugs. And now you just got these two bolts and they are an eight mil, eight mil bolt. So basically I'm just gonna take those off. Set that aside. Pop off this bottom one. Oh, 
that just pops right out and we'll put the new one back in I'm just gonna stop the video right now and just get the screws placed in got the uh, new coil placed in there just place the uh, screws in there I'm just gonna tighten them up So that's it, got those snugged up. You want them fairly tight so they're not going to get loose with any vibrations. Plug the harness back in. Just give me a bit of trouble here. that pop back in and just basically put this lead back on snaps on and that's it uh, you've changed out a coil uh, this part will run you probably about 120 bucks US close to 200 Canadian not a cheap part but uh, that's how you change out a coil if you have a bad one and uh, that's how you can test them out to, to see if uh, it's not firing. Okay, hope that helped you guys out. Like and subscribe, guys. There'll be more uh, tune-up tips and videos as I do them. Thanks, bye.